Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyix Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning and welcome to a new month. Hasn't God been absolutely amazing? He's kept us for two months and now we're at the beginning of the third month. And I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus for your people. Lord, as the mountain surrounds Jerusalem, Lord, this month surround them in the name of Jesus. Clothe them with your peace. Clothe them with your favor. Clothe them with great mercy in the name of Jesus. That this month of March, Lord, let your hand be mighty upon your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you know that one of the critical signs of the last days is massive deception? In fact, when the disciples asked Jesus, what would be the sign of your coming? How do we know that the last days are upon us? What would be the indicator that you're coming soon? The first thing that Jesus replied is that there will be deception. If you read it from Matthew chapter 24 verse 4, the Bible says, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceives you. And if you read it from NLC version, it says, Jesus told them, don't let anyone mislead you. Meaning that it's possible for someone to mislead you. Now in that Matthew 24, in response to the question that the disciples asked Jesus, the first thing he told them is that there will be deception. But then again, throughout that Matthew 24, four different times, Jesus warned us about deception. He warned us consistently and constantly that people will be deceived. And you know what? Deception is a very deadly virus because it is designed to look like the truth. So deception has elements of the truth in it, but then it has elements of a lie. And so if you're not conversant with the word of God, if the Holy Spirit does not help you, you will take the truth and also take a lie. That is why you have to pay attention to the study of the word so that you will not get deceived. Because Jesus told us in this last days that deception will be at an all-time high. Now let me tell you how dangerous deception is and the power of deception. Do you know that Adam and Eve would see God every single day in the cool of the evening God would talk to them? They had no internet to pollute their minds. They had no extra friends who were disgusting that are not godly. They were surrounded by, you know, a spiritual atmosphere. Yet, Satan went in the midst of this high spiritual environment, talking to these highly spiritual people who spoke to no one else except God. Satan went in the midst of them and he was able to deceive Eve, who now, of course, dragged her husband into the matter and the whole human race was destroyed. But guess what? These people were seeing God every day. Yes, they fell for the tricks of Satan. What is that thing that is inside deception that makes you so powerful? Another good scenario will be Lucifer. Remember, he was in heaven with God. And then these angels were seeing God every day, bow down to God every day. You've seen his goodness, seen his greatness. The angels know more than any other being that God is the beginning and the end. And, you know, no one can be better or higher or greater than him. Yet, Satan was able to, in the midst of all of this spiritual greatness, deceive one third of the angels. What is that thing that makes deception so powerful? Well, the answer is simple. It is because there are elements of truth in deception, but they just put one simple lie. And then if you don't know, you will swallow both the truth and the lie. And that's why I said it's a very, very dangerous virus because heresy is something else. Heresy just simply means you're saying things that are not scriptural. When you say Jesus is not Lord, nobody will believe you because we all know that Jesus is Lord. But in the case of deception, it will tell you the truth, but it will add an element of lie. And you know, if you study deception, you know that there are different strategies for deception. And one of those strategies is what I'm going to talk about today, which is giving you incomplete information. Actually, if you do a study of the times you live in now, the 21st century, you notice that this method has worked more than any other method. So what is that method? That is when you give someone incomplete information. It is when you take away a critical part of a sentence. Immediately you do that, the sentence loses its meaning. So in the word of God, if you listen to a lot of people that are speaking, there are many scriptures that are no longer quoted. They are the hidden scriptures or the forgotten scriptures. And so the month of March, we're going to look into the forgotten scriptures. The reason is because some of these 
scriptures and some of these messages, when you pull them away from the content of the gospel, the gospel loses the meaning completely. All you have is a box with nothing really inside. The devil doesn't care how much you go to church. As long as you don't hear the full truth, you hear half truth. There are many scriptures nobody's talking about anymore. But those were the major scriptures that the apostles and the prophets used to raise men in the early church somewhere along the line those scriptures those messages were taken off the pulpit and what we have now is just a shadow of the gospel which is why you see the quality of christians that are being produced today because they are not fed the complete gospel they are only fed a particular type the type that your body wants the type that your soul wants the type that your mind wants however the bible is very balanced there are things that are in the scripture they are designed to make you like god they are designed to make you holy and pure they are designed to grant you access to all of the inheritance that you have in christ but god wants you to have the full picture and not half so we're going to look at the scriptures that have been hidden or the scriptures that have been forgotten because you can't take half of the scripture and leave the other half it's incomplete and it is very dangerous to do that you'll be amazed at things you didn't even know were critical in the bible you're going to have first-hand information about them and that's what we're going to do in the month of march so you go to god in a place of prayer in the month of march and ask god to reveal to you all the hidden scriptures that he wants you to know as you read them you begin to have a complete perspective of the word of god thank you so much for listening make sure you join tomorrow but there's some good news for the month of march my sacred place devotion is now available in a book format so if you've enjoyed the audio devotional we now have it in book format and it's very easy for you to have access to the book all you need to do is go to our website www.mspdevotion.org and you get the details of how to be able to get the book in whatever region that you are is a 365 days devotional which means that if you start it now for the next 365 days you have a daily dosage of the word of god that will change your life forever thank you and god bless you enjoy the rest of the day for other life-changing messages you can now download the app rev oyik speaks from play store for android phone users or apple store for ios users you can also follow us on instagram youtube and telegram all on the handle Oyeks Alfred.